Damn, he built really quickly. All right, let's drop Malgus. Mm, can't even build here. All right, we're dropping Malgus down here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got two of them. One Star Forge. <laughs> we saw that before. Two Star Forges. That is pretty good. All right. <clears throat> Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Ladder. Hello and welcome to a brand new Star Wars Empire at War video. Today we have returned to one of the most insane, ludicrous, fever dream-like Empire at War mods of all time. That is, of course, the Yodin mod. Uh, last time we played, we built the Imperium Ultra Class Super Heavy Duty Badass Star Destroyer, which I think was 260 kilometers long, and it's just gigantic. Today we'll be doing something almost as ridiculous, actually probably even more ridiculous, and building the Star Forge, and perhaps maybe two Star Forges. Uh, so I can't remember exactly which map it can be found on. Uh, definitely not any of these official maps. It's definitely not on Kessel Run 2. Um, I think it's the Old Republic faction which gets it, and I, or the Sith faction which gets it, sorry. Um, so we'll go Empire... We'll play against a Jedi Rebellion, and we'll try Mod Map 5? Charlie, cut me in if it, this isn't the one. <clears throat> you guys will have to excuse... Okay, there's only two... Uh, that's not cool. So there's only two resource asteroids on this. That's not very cash money. We're going to choose a different one. It's literally not very cash money. Let's try Old Republic versus Sith 2. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any detail. Let's just try one. Back up to Jedi. We want a little bit of a challenge. Let's go. Also, guys, um, my voice is a little messed up. Um, I guess that's better. My voice is a little messed up. Um, my family has been pretty sick. Started off with my son Gus. His name is August. Um, my wife got sick next, and then me after that. Let me just turn on the desktop audio a bit. Um, so yeah, that coupled with the fact that at the end of last stream, um, and this isn't a stream. This for people watching this on YouTube, but I just recorded this offline. Um, but at the end of last stream, I tried to record. My, uh, my longest ever yeah boy because Rampaging Rhino donated 100 uh, pounds. And my throat was already in a, uh, a rough state and that just definitely did not help. So we'll build Lord Brachus, um, who is a dark Jedi during the, uh, the post-Endor period, but has the picture of, I forget the name of that Republic trooper from the Old Republic, and he's almost certainly flying a craft which doesn't meet either of those uh, qualifications. So, can I build you? Um, so yeah, it's a very diverse mod to put it lightly. Let's just take a look. Uh, he's that's like a Sith. Uh, it's called the, I forget the name of that ship is. I think the Infiltrator. I can't remember. I don't know Old Republic stuff. That's why I make three videos on YouTube just over and over again. I'm just joking. Upgrade in progress. All right, no sign of the AI yet. Upgrade complete. So we now have Darth Revan. We have the Ardent Frigate. I'm going to build the Darafan because it's actually a pretty decent ship model. I would guess that it was like... I almost said Wayward Jedi. I would guess that it was like... One of the well-known EAW modders who made this one. I'm definitely going to have a really embarrassing voice crack at some point during this video. Alright, let's get the Darafan in here. One thing that really annoys me about this mod is we've got room for all this ridiculousness. Um, or sorry, we have all these ridiculous ships, but it gives us 30 population slot. Like, what's up with that? Alright. 
So, I mean, I guess the Dare fan's not that nice, but it, it matches its depiction in the books. So, it's just like in the Essential Guide to Warfare. Actually, I don't think the Dare fan was in that, just like in the Old Republic comics. I think, I think the Dare fan was in the old Dark Horse um, Jedi comics. I was never really, I couldn't afford comics growing up. Um, not that we were poor or anything, we weren't. It's just like, for one, it was a bit overwhelming because I didn't know where to start. Um, but also, there and there were just like so many comics. Um, I didn't read Dark Empire until I was already a man. That was supposed to be Bane. I don't know if that came through at all. Um, so we are dominating asteroids and they will still, I guarantee they'll still find some way to hit us with like a mega class ultra super duper star destroyer. Also, just to be clear, I've said this before, I joke about Yoden mod, but I kid because I love. Um, I think it's totally okay that there's a mod that just fully embraces ridiculousness. Um, based on my understanding, they're not stealing assets. They kind of just, uh... They ask for permission, then they upload them as, you know, I'm cool area. with that. Copy. I copy. Beginning construction. Nothing else to spend my money on right now. I guess I'll buy... No, I'm gonna hold off. Reporting. Just buy some asteroids. Oh, I didn't buy that one? Oops. Yes, sir. I'm a fool. Coordinates received. I am a fool. I want to take a look at the, uh... Is this the infiltrate? Oh, I can never remember the name of Sith Fighters. Alright, Dare fan, show your worth. These are the Oryx, I believe, which... I'm pretty sure Oryx is A in uh, the Star Wars alphabet. <laughs> which is, There's more than one Star Wars alphabet. I'm referring to Horabesh. Now I messed up because I can't... My chat, when you, or sorry, commenters, video watchers, let me know which ship featured in today's video is your favorite. Commencing attack run. Ready for battle. Oof. Watch for enemy ships. Reporting in. It's weird playing mods like Thrawn's Revenge, which are so, like, fully new UI, you know, mechanics of combat are changed completely, like... You don't just see fighters get picked off like that so easily. Then to go back to something like this. I gotta admit, I do like how some of the older mods did let you, like, destroy fighters or whatever so quickly. Um, it's kind of satisfying. Okay, come on. Alright. I'm a good Canadian. I've had Arcade Fire, um... Stuck in my head all day. Actually, all month, really. It's been really since 2010 or so. <laughs> uh, let's just hold off. Because I don't want to take up my population cap. Just because the more the truly ludicrous ships will come later on. Maybe I'll just buy... Like, Darth Maul is just in the Ebon Hawk, I think. Which, I mean, it's a cool freighter, but it's just a freighter. It's not like the sexy Dara fan right here. Dare fan. Constructing. The number one treatment for Form up. lactose intolerance. I don't know. Things got no shield, eh? Crazy. Oh, we can also check out the asteroid in the middle here. That should give us some stuff. Construction complete. Ready for action. Just gonna speed this up a bit. Complete. All right, Dare fan. Attack position. Hey, it's what's his name from Akira. It's not who it is, but that's what it looks like. I don't know if that's an Imperial Knight um, from Legacy. Oh man, they're coming hard now. There's too many of them. They're all from different eras. Ugh. This game is somehow going to give me a desync error playing single player. Just watch. This mod also has absolutely no balancing. Like, some of the ships will have, like, 
literally a hundred hard points and others will have like six and they'll be like equal cost and equal uh, population cost Let's keep pushing. So this is the Sith Destroyer, Darth Angrel. Let's buy Sith Destroyer. You guys have been watching me doing nothing for too long. So you need a bit more firepower. They're coming in hot and heavy. Kind of reminds me of one of the. Um, Shelly's not able to find an image for this, probably. Um, of one of the concept art Star Destroyers that was um, created for The Force Awakens. I did a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, there's a Star Destroyer that kind of looked like this. Um, it had very similar kind of rear side here. I don't think it had this. Oh, we lost our thing. You know, we got that gap tooth at the front. <laughs> so funny, after playing so many multiplayer games of this, I'm like anxious about it desyncing. <laughs> Even though that's obviously not going to happen. Uh, Nihilus has his, um, it's not the Harrower, is it? Man, I'm, t I'm supposed to be a ship guy, and I'm just sucking. So, oh, it's a Centurion. I think? I can't remember. I'm gonna go to Star Wars Hell. Lore, YouTuber Hell. So, like, look how many hard points this tiny little ship has. Oh, we didn't even... We gotta get to that asteroid as well. Because they might have some cool stuff there. Yes, come on. It's alright, dog. Is this the Ravager? Remember there's the Harbinger, but I think that was a... There's a Harbinger in Mass Effect 2, but that was, I think, just a good guy ship. Man, we got lots of money, at least. Right, let's take the Hut Asteroid Station. Full power towards the Hut Asteroid Station. Let's get that Dara fan there too. I gotta say, I really enjoyed Charlie's edit for the last video. Um, Charlie, if you want to insert part of that here, feel free. But, in case you want a second show, in case you don't quite believe me, if you don't understand the dangers of this weapon, another example, a fully crewed space station, tens of thousands of individuals, just gone. <laughs> it's like, and this thing doesn't have any hard points, it's just like, who knows what you're going to get. Now the asteroid base is ours, I guess? I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Tetsuo, is that his name, or is... I can't remember. All we've really learned during this stream is that my memory is terrible. Alright, upgrade, would ya? Whoa! <laughs> okay. So we've got our first Star Forge here. And I believe Darth Malgus uh, will give us our second one. And for those of you saying... Hey, didn't Darth Malgus show up after the Star Forge? Well, that's an interesting point. But he bored it for a day. Um, okay, so we can build these now. Damn, he built really quickly. All right, let's drop Malgus. Mm, can't even build here. All right, we're dropping Malgus down here. Ladies and gentlemen. We got two of them. One Star Forge. Pfft. We saw that before. Two Star Forges. 
That is pretty good. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Now we've got Sith Lord from different ages. We have... This is uh, Darth Talon, who is actually considered... Um, George Lucas really liked her character, and if you Google image search Darth Talon, you might figure out why. Um, but when he was brainstorming ideas for Episode 7, uh, back when he was working on Episode 7 himself, um, he was modeling a Sith Lord after her because he liked her so much. Oh, cool. Um, I thought he could, like, build stuff. Let's build Scion. I like it. We, we, Jesus. Deep, deep fried voice there. Like we've got the most mighty um, space station ever envisioned. What's it good against? Uh, asteroids. It's like, yeah, we can take asteroids no problem. <laughs> Alright, boys. Man, this thing can boogie, too. Okay, well, you can't tell like that, but... Look at it go! Look at that, sucker fly! It's like that one Corvette had more hard points than this. Alright, Darth Crate reporting for duty. Um... Let's also build us. Let's build this battle cruiser, Harrier or Harrower, I think. Definitely not a Harrier. That's something different. You guys thought Battle of the Dreadnoughts was cool? It wasn't. You know what's cool? Battle of the Immobile Space Stations. So this one's not immobile for some reason. Oh my god, boys, this is just like in the movies. You guys remember this? This was from uh, Colin Trevorrow's leaked episode 9 script. <laughs> this is ludicrous. Alright. Let's get the man too angry to die in here before Darth Maul did it. Can he make anything cool? Uh, no, not really. Oh, wait, hold on, what's this? A oh, weapons platform. That's boring. He's built some missile defense satellites. Why not? I need help. Y Wing Squadron reporting. Your commander, take out the iron cannons. Y Wing standing by. Look at this thing just I gotta say, kind of interesting ship design. I wouldn't mean I wouldn't mind seeing something uh, like this in Star Wars. I mean Maybe refine it a little. It's a little um Edgy, I guess? Like, I don't know if it needs to be red. I don't know what that big tail fin does, either. But, eh. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh. The dark side of the force corrupts a person. That and doing too many yeah boys when you've already got a, uh, I almost said an ear infection. It's streaming for too long. Um, when you already have a bad throat. Alright, let's move this gigantic space station, which certainly couldn't boogie around the map at this speed. And here it goes. Focus all firepower in your giant wing. Ion cans and never knew what was what would hit them. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Oh, this is this is HK forty the HK forty seven class capital ship. I gotta say the AI here actually beat like a or built like a not completely ridiculous fleet besides for Tetsuo there. It's not Tetsuo, is it? I mean, I know it's not any of them, but that's not the one who I'm thinking of. Hold on. Shitaro? 
Because he wears a red... Yeah, it looks like Shitaro because he wears a red jack. I think they call him by his last name. I don't know. It's been a while since I watched that movie. 